introducing the latest generation portable oxygen concentrator from CARE. The new Freestyle Comfort is specially designed to deliver superior comfort and peace of mind. At only 10 inches tall, it's similar in size to a book and weighs less than a purse, so you can get out and live the life you want. The Comfort is powerful. Similar to a stationary system, it draws room air into the machine through the air intake filters. The air then goes through a unique separation process that separates the oxygen from the nitrogen and allows only the oxygen to pass through to a collection reservoir. The result is an on-demand pulse flow of high concentration oxygen delivered to the user. The Comfort delivers one of the highest flow rates of any wearable portable device on the market, enabling you to get the oxygen you need in high activity situations. The small long-lasting battery is easy to charge and replace. It allows you to be out all day to get more done. The Comfort is the only portable concentrator with a curved shape to hug your hip and stay out of the way. Its unique design was developed to let you move naturally without swinging or banging. You never have to worry about the unknown with the Comfort's intelligent monitoring features and easy to read display. Located in clear view on top of the unit, you always see your flow setting and battery life. The bright display is easy to see in the dark with large glow in the dark buttons to keep you in control. In addition, the alarm system keeps track of multiple key functions to warn you of any issues. For critical breathing conditions, the Comfort Smart Delivery features help ensure you get the oxygen you need. First, the UltraSense Sensitive Breath Detection Technology identifies even faint breaths to automatically trigger delivery so you never miss a breath. Next, if the unit detects no breath from the user, the Autodose feature automatically delivers oxygen pulses until the unit detects a normal breathing pattern. These features are why top doctors recommend the Freestyle Comfort. By offering smart delivery features, the Freestyle Comfort helps give them the confidence to go out knowing their concentrators are delivering the oxygen they need. The Comfort also uses wireless technology to share info with family and providers. I think that's about as much as I can take from that. I mean, yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm surprised she wasn't holding the kite. Oh, well, I yeah, love the yeah. bit where she was. She threw the frisbee. You know, I'm surprised she didn't run after it. I'm absolutely. I'm surprised they she didn't try and catch it. Well, I'm surprised they haven't shown someone uh, having running a marathon with with an oxygen concentrator <laughs> or the portable one. Yeah, because they do promote you can live the life you want to live. Oh, well, yeah. with an oxygen concentrator, and they, don't they? And these adverts always show like actors, you know, yeah, who, but people who don't really look as though they need an oxygen and concentrator. concentrator. Uh, yeah, Which sure. Way? Yeah, it's 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 a it's a far <laughs> call from reality. Absolutely, but it was, most of the people. Oh, sorry. All the people I've ever met you, you, who use oxygen concentrators have got respiratory problems. Absolutely. And they will not exert themselves. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Because it's, it's a hard slog for them to exert themselves. Mm. So, you know, throwing that frisbee, taking the dog for a walk, even oh, with well, an yeah. oxygen concentrator, yeah. you know. I mean, you know. <clears throat> it's, but, you but, know. But um, what was interesting, I found, was how they were explaining how it worked. It pulled in the room air into the machine. Oh, pulled in the room air, through of course, the yeah. beds to separate yeah, the the, oxygen, this, this bit here, the oxygen from the nitrogen. Yeah, there through. So the air's going through the sieve beds, separates the oxygen from the nitrogen, and the oxygen passes into the reservoir reservoir tank. But they don't mention what happens to the nitrogen, nitrogen no. do they? They never said anything about what happens to the nitrogen. Well, what, well I wonder what happens to the nitrogen. According to the Wikipedia page, it gets vented out into the atmosphere. So, oh, wow. Nitrogen. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I wonder if that's true. Well, there's only one way of finding out, isn't there? I suppose so, yeah. 
Uh, you can be very intelligent and very good at what you do, and you can still be stupid. Well, we're back again, and uh, back again, annoying people with our views and opinions because, because a lot of people really just like hearing other people's views and opinions. Absolutely, of course, yes, and it's quite uh, it's quite early in the morning, isn't it? Is it? Well, it is, yeah. Oh, well, a yeah, bit early, early in the morning, so we thought we'd uh, we'd stay up and uh, keep everyone posted up uh, as to what we are we are up to. Absolutely, because we've had a had a few developments absolutely a few developments and uh which haven't been too bad at all really when you think about it um so how are you peter are you well yeah. are you well or are you well i'm actually quite well actually today well that's very well and indeed we, we all we both hope you are absolutely soon. of course we hope everybody is well today because it's a well day yeah. isn't it absolutely today? yes and it'll soon be uh, guy fawkes night bonfire night oh, right, where yeah. everybody celebrates a failure Oh right, well, yeah. Everyone celebrates well, of course, a yes. failure. Yeah, yeah absolutely, okay. of course. Oh, well, we don't want to celebrate failures. Well, do we, we? Do, we don't. We don't do bonfire night. I I was in. Uh, I saw some toffee apples for sale, and I'm thinking, oh, they're horrible. Yeah, I know. You know yeah, who yeah, would yeah, want yeah. to eat toffee yeah. apples? No, no, yeah. I yeah. mean, it's ridiculous when you actually look at all the the shite, all the they, junk, the junk they sell. Shop sell. You know. Yeah, yeah. You think you could if everyone. Lived without it. Lived without it. They'd they'd have. Uh, they'd be so much better. They'd be so much better. better. They'd feel so much better, better within, within themselves. themselves. Of course. But so, so, what have we got for everyone's displeasure then, Peter? A four well, tonight for everyone's pleasure because it's a well day or well morning. Well morning. Look at. We have actually been doing quite a lot because if you thought that oxygen wasn't concentrated dry, dry air. air well, then it's in our opinion, that opinion is wrong. wrong. Absolutely. Absolutely, of course. Because and that is exactly what we think oxygen is. Absolutely. Concentrated dry, dry air. air. Absolutely, of course. So, we're going to, uh, we've got some, uh, some we've got videos so, to show people about, we've, we actually have got a spherical ball magnet. Absolutely, because we did a, we did a video a couple of weeks and ago. We, yeah, we wanted to know. What the the, the well, whether it would repel? Hell. Yeah, absolutely. And you've got to get a spherical ball magnet because the, the information's not out there. So you've got because, to do it yourself yeah, because the information that's <clears throat> out there isn't, just isn't there. Isn't it there. is there, but it isn't there. It's not satisfactory. It's it doesn't like being, answer your question. Yeah, it's like being in Europe but not in Europe. Absolutely, of course. It's like being in a relationship and not being in a relationship. Yeah, and what else have we got uh, for everyone's? Displeasure. We're going to have a look at. We've we've done a, f a few videos on um, well, some more information about the the magnet as well. The magnet. We don't, we've got the magnet. We've got um, our new new um, rec acquisition. New acquisition, acquisition. that we'll uh, introduce we'll everyone. Introduce everyone. We should later on. call it a name, should we? Oh, Fred. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. Ollie. Oliver. Well, we could call it Andrew. 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 The. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, could call it Andy, yeah. Yeah, Andy, call him we'll call Andy. It, yeah. Call it Andy. Uh, we've, got, we've done a bit on calcium. Yeah, we've with calcium metal. Got calcium some, metal. Uh, a good one for calcium metal. And I think we've got some other stuff that I just haven't written down. Absolutely, I think, yeah, of course, yeah. But they're all in video form, aren't they? They're all, we've got quite a few videos to show people. Absolutely, so uh, should we show people what's first on <clears> them? <throat> well, let's just go on the... Um, let's go right, don't we? Here Let's we go. Right. Well, now oh, this go. is uh, this is calcium metal uh, in a bag. Yeah, that's that's off. So so here we go. Oh wait there. No, you want the video. Uh, this is the one you want. This is the one. Oh right, of course. Yeah. So here we go. Now let's see. So what's what's going on? Right. Okay. Now I've switched the iron on because what I want to do is I want to seal some of those plastic food bags. Okay. And the reason why I want to seal the plastic food bag is because I want to put some calcium metal into the bag and then seal it up. Yeah, and airtight then, sealed. So it's airtight sealed. 
Okay, because you can't, I don't really want to trust those. Yeah, those anyway, crystal. get on with it. Yeah, of course. And I want to see how much the calcium metal absorbs the air. Absorbs the air. Or absolutely. the water vapour. Because if you notice the bag of calcium metal here, it's it's like it's formed like a vacuum. vacuum. It creates and you've a vacuum really got in the to bag. pull the bag apart. Oh. Because the air in the bag basically gets absorbed by the calcium metal. Calcium metal will absorb moisture. Absolutely. So it's it's it, it's possible that calcium metal could absorb all the air in the bag. Mm. Now if it does, then that would demonstrate the idea that air is water basically yeah you know because calcium absorbs water mm, we know that to be true and we know that it's only water that decomposes calcium metal and water does decompose calcium, calcium metal, metal. to only... form what people would call calcium hydroxide because you've only got to drop some calcium in water and it will create a very exothermic reaction calcium oxide absolutely hydroxide Calcium hydroxide in water. No, it doesn't. Calcium, calcium, would give you calcium water. metal. Calcium metal, oh, sorry, in water, water would give you a very violent reaction. Yes. And you'll get hydrogen yes, given off. Because of the heat being released. So you're showing that you've got a seal just by running an iron oh, over, right. over the bag. Well, basically, yeah. Okay, you could have uh, put some air in the bag. I did think that, yes. Yeah, that would, but, that would show that. But, uh, but I suppose. But I you, split open the, the push seal. The, the seal that you push, yeah. and then I'm trying to, yeah, open the bag. Okay, I can't right. open the bag. Yeah, okay, right. It's anyway, sealed. so so that's that go. done. So you've done that, yeah. Yeah, just there we go. So you've got uh, your bags open. There you go. We've got calcium metal there, uh, in a very uh, what's the word? Vacuum. A horrible bag. Yeah, well, the bag that bag was horrible, isn't it? Mm. That bag. So you're pouring in the calcium metal. Or a few chunks of it, yeah. there we go. I'm not... Um, or quite a lot, really. No, I'm just... Yeah, there um, we go. Putting That's it. There you go. And let's carry on. Let's carry on. Yeah, yeah, you're rolling it up. There we go. Because the whole lot, the whole lot purpose of this is to demonstrate that if, if this is like water vapour, water gas... Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah, for sure. Dry water... Dry water, whatever you want to call it. Whatever you want to call it. Then we should see a marked difference in that bag. Absolutely. So there's the bag. There's the bag a load of contract. calcium metal in there. Hmm. And, you, yeah, we can see that you've there's air in yeah, there. There you go. So all I'm going to do is seal up the... Seal up the end of the... Bag, the yeah. Yeah, the, where you, where you uh, seal the bag. Yeah. Going to run the iron over it to melt the plastic, fuse the plastic together. together. Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely, create a nice seal. And that, I was going to say, yeah, there you go. There you so go. you're running that over. There we go. Yeah, not a pair of trams, I'm not going to wear them. So that's looking pretty good, isn't it? Okay. So, so I can guarantee that there's this, it's sealed, the bag is sealed. Yeah, absolutely, of course. So let's just do it, otherwise you'll... So there there's, the, there's the bag. We can see that there is air in the bag. Mm. Okay. And lots of calcium metal that does... A lot of it does look metallic. Uh, there you go. So there's that. And it's sealed. Yeah. yeah there How we many go. times... Yeah, we don't need to look at there it all the time. Yeah, yeah that's, uh, that's more that's So it. that's it. There you go. That's how much air is in there. Yeah, okay. Well done. Good, good yeah, show. I fold there. it about... I fold it one... Yeah, it doesn't matter, really. There yeah, you but, go. But we need to know how many times I fold the... Yeah, well, the, well I'm hoping over. you'll see a marked reduction. So anyway, so there's the there's the calcium. There, there's the bag again, photograph of it. Mm. Okay. And here you weigh it. Yeah, we'll weigh it as well. So let's just let's just go do it from 43. here. 43.51. 43.51. Right. There we go. Okay. So we've got this for a reference, Okay. And what we're going to do, we're going to, we intend to leave the bag to see whether the a vacuum um, well, well, forms within well, the bag. bag. Basically, yeah. Essentially, because if it does, then we know that calcium will even absorb air. Hmm. But we know this to be true anyway, <laughs> simply because of the bag of calcium that came through the post. Because if you go oh, back so, to the yeah, beginning of the video, if I go to the beginning of this to, video, sorry, to the beginning. 
to the video to the initial video which is we, this one yeah that bag of calcium if you look at the bag of calcium, calcium. you'll notice that yeah. would, there's no air there yeah there's and no air there at all. There's no air there, no air in there at yeah, all. It's, it? it's like vacuum packed. Absolutely, of course, yeah. Because the calcium absorbs the air, water that's in the bag. Uh, absolutely, yeah. You know, and decays, you know, degrades into calcium mm. hydroxide, the white powdery uh, Basically, substance. Yeah, yeah. You know, so, so there we go. Because so we're when, see how when, it goes when, on with that. When the calcium metal was first placed in the bag, it was probably. It looked all probably metallic form. Metallic form, form. absolutely. Yeah, it was calcium metal. Yeah, all of it. You could have put you could put an, an actual bag, a block of calcium metal mm. in it, but as soon as it's exposed to air, mm. the moisture in the air will degrade that calcium. Yeah, metal. Now, th this has uh, another uh, implication simply because in that bag of calcium metal there, the the one that got delivered, the one that got delivered. It's, it's kind of vacuum packed, isn't it? Absolutely, of course. Yeah. Mainstream science would say that the it's only the oxygen that reacts with the calcium, calcium to form calcium hydroxide. Sorry. Whereas we would we would we would uh, we would disagree with that uh, that claim. claim and say that it's the water, the moisture, yeah, in the air, or the gaseous water as part of the air that essentially breaks down that calcium. Water decomposes Poses, yeah. materials. But mainstream puts across that there's only 21% oxygen in the air. So mainstream would have it that there's only 21% oxygen in that bag. 78% so, is nitrogen. So where did the nitrogen so go? So where's the nitrogen gone? Absolutely, you've got to... It's yeah. absorbed all... The, 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 it's uh -huh. vacuum packed. Oh, that's a good point, though. Oh, oh yeah, that's a good point, though. Is. Yeah, oh, sorry, yeah, that's a good point, though, is, yeah. Yeah, if we look at the bag, yeah. There, if yeah, we look bag. at the bag, yeah, when when you think about it, where's the nitrogen in that yeah. bag? You know, that bag should have nitrogen in it, and yet pff, doesn't look like any yeah, nitrogen in that bag yeah, absolutely. to me. Yeah. Anyway, they're all food for thought, of course. But uh, so there's, yeah, there's that. That's to do on the on the ongoing. So that's ongoing. So what's up next? Let's have a little oh, look. What's next? Here we go. Now, we did, um, we did a video... Um, couple of weeks ago about um and you thought the earth had magnetic poles and you thought the earth had mag mag magnetic poles you know the north and south pole kind of thing and we think that there aren't any poles there's there's no evidence to show that the earth does actually have no, poles, poles. None there's whatsoever. none whatsoever of course because nobody can demonstrate that there is a pole how would you demonstrate that you're at a pole yeah, no, yeah. that it is a pole yeah no there's a, there's areas where a compass just doesn't doesn't go behave anywhere. Behave as one would want it to behave. Or as one would expect by following a field line. But how does that prove or demonstrate that you're at a, a pole? pole? It doesn't. It doesn't. It only, poles. It only demonstrates what you... you Absolutely. You we, find, we do witness poles to exist in magnets that have been manufactured. Man-made. But obviously nature <clears throat> hasn't been manufactured by human beings. So why should then should nature have magnetic poles mm. yeah do you, you understand where we're coming from oh, yeah. well it sounds like man is applying the magnetic poles <clears throat> to the nature. to nature absolutely of course so um in the in the video we came across ball magnets didn't we mm -hmm. and we 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 asked people whether um i'm sure we asked whether ball magnets actually repel and attract mm. We know that there's an attraction with ball magnets, but we're unsure whether they actually repel. Mm. I think in the video we got to the con we thought that that they couldn't repel, Pel. didn't we? Yeah, and we but were trying to find information whether they actually did repel, did or repel, did, or, or did. We couldn't find any. We couldn't find any at that time. At that time, but we've now, through doing this ourselves, we've actually come to realise that they can repel. Well, you know. Well, um, you know, yeah. I've, I've got to. I've got to. Well, I would say that they can repel if they're faced with. Uh, if they are in a, contact or near to a manufactured magnet. magnet. Absolutely. Yes. There we go. Yeah. So this is what we did because we actually managed to get hold of a, a ball magnet. magnet. Here we so, go. So here we go. We'll start the the thing again. Now this is a piece of magnetite, okay, and that's a small metal staple. Now, as you can see, the magnetite is lifted 
has attracted the metal staple and the metal staples clinging on to the um, magnetite. Mm. Okay, which is shows <clears throat> so clearly shows an attraction. Okay, an attraction. Magnetite. We've yet to see magnetite repel, haven't we? Yeah, we have. I've, seen I've not it, seen so magnetite repel, repel anything. You know, I doubt very much if it would repel insects. Mm. Absolutely, know. yeah. Because so, it's uh, it's not polarized. It's not polarized. It's Absolutely. not man-made. Now here's our ball magnet with our little piece of metal. There we go. Oh, okay, and it's that? gone. Wow. That, that actually zipped onto that magnet. It was un unbelievable. Mm. So that, that's our ball magnet. Okay. Let's do it again. Let's, oh, no, now no. we're going to do it with the lodestone. Mm. Okay, the magnetite. And let's have a little look. Here we go. Uh, oh, oh, look, look, at, look that. at that. And that did the same. Attraction. Okay, mm. attraction. So there you go. I mean, they're quite interesting. I'm glad we did this because it's now set us right about, you know, if there were any flaws in that, in that video. Yeah, but one thing you and me should have thought about when we were doing that video, and that is a spherical ball magnet has to be, is has to have poles or yeah. a number of poles simply because it's manufactured. It's manufactured, absolutely. Your law, yeah, you'll find it's... It's our understanding now that all manufactured magnets, magnets. do have poles. poles. Mm. Manufactured. Well, at least two poles. Yeah, at least. Yeah, of course. So here we go. We've got some bar magnets here that we're just showing that they are bar magnets, of course. And we've got re repelling going on with the, the, the same north poles. Okay. As one would expect. As one would expect. You know, we've got to show people this because, know, you know, yeah. you know, it's as if we've got to show people that we're thorough in what we do. Absolutely. Or, yeah, I know, yeah. So we, what we're we going to do, we've got the ball magnet. Okay. Mm. So let's have a little look, see what happens. Okay. And in this instance, it's attracted. Okay, the ball magnet's attracted the uh, mm. north end of the magnet. Yeah. So, voila, you know. So we've got that one. So let's to do the south. Let's do the south end. And oh, Ooh. look at that! Look at that! It doesn't want to know, does it? It's like um, it, oh, but then but then it did, you know. But so we're thinking, hmm. Yeah, but which part of that ball, that oh. spherical magnet, was actually a tr a repelling? Yeah, because after doing this, we've started to realise. That if you that there are certain parts of the wall magnet that will repel this magnet, whereas other parts will attract Tracted. it, as we can see there. Absolutely, because the south yes. pole has mm. been attracted. So the ball magnet is not uniformly um, one pole on the outside. No, it's not. No, absolutely, it's not, is it? No, absolutely. But it does repel a manufactured bar magnet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this will not repel oh, lodestone. lodestone. There. As we can clearly see. Which is pretty all right, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And so we, I think even, even though we, 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 we've now updated oh. the information on the the spherical magnet. Yeah, we've changed the added a comment, haven't we? We, 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 we pinned have a comment. updated a comment on that video. <laughs> but it still doesn't. We're still on the view that the Earth doesn't have magnetic oh, poles. poles. Absolutely, yeah. There's not enough information to actually support the view that the Earth does have <clears> magnetic <throat> poles. Because it, absolutely, yeah. Because if that lodestone had poles, then we could po possibly. I'd, I'd love to. See, well, what I'd like to see is somebody actually repel, get some lodestone, and actually repel it, make see it oh, well, yeah, move yeah, in the yeah. opposite direction. Yeah. Then that, you know that would be that would be quite good. But and then attract to another part of the magnet, which was the other pole. Yeah, yeah. But I don't think you'll see that. I don't think you'll see that. But we can clearly see repelling going on in on this ball magnet. Mm. So that um, you know, that's cleared up our because um, we thought that ball magnets weren't like that, would always repel, no. didn't we? No, it would always attract. Sorry, it would always attract. So in, it, to, in to a certain degree, we were incorrect. But in the video, <clears throat> let's have a look at what we've done today. 
Absolutely. Let's have a little look. So we don't need to watch that anymore, do no, we? No, we don't. Because that's just us playing around with the lodestone. And we've seen we've seen that uh, go, going on. And the lodestone does attract to the magnet as well, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've to seen To the that. north and south. To the north and south. Yeah. Yeah. Either either way. Do we need to show that just in case? Let's just let's just do just in case. There's there's that. There we, there we go. There we go. There we go. Oh. There you go. Uh, we'll just play this play this bit we'll, we show that the lodestone will will attract to both poles of a magnet okay so there we go that's the south pole okay oh nearly got it there, there you go, go. Yeah. lifting that up so we've got that one and let's show the north pole here we go and there we go right there and it's attracting there as well oh wow you know it's clearly attracting there and there you go and it's lifting that up as well so no difference we, we, we've no, not no. seen any difference to the poles of the manufactured magnet on the magnetite hmm. we've not seen any difference so so there's that one we don't need to show that one so this is what we um did today with the it was this one wasn't it yeah yeah here we go. now what we've got here are, are some small pieces of they're oh, like whoa. Yeah, wire wall. The the bits, the, all of the dregs you get in the bottom hmm. if you buy wire wall. And we're just running the wire wall over the... No, sorry, running we're running the ball magnet over the uh, the dregs of the wire wall. Okay. And you can see the bits flying up to the ball magnet. Okay. But one of the things you'll notice as you pass the ball magnet over the uh, iron bits of steel wall mm. is that they're only attracted, attracted. to certain parts, parts of the magnet absolutely yeah. which tells us that there's only certain parts of the magnet that are attractive, attractive. Absolutely, so yeah. the, there must be parts of the outside of the magnet that are opposing well, because they, they are, oppose the magnet of the the bar magnet well they, they either oppose or they um that nothing happens or oh, nothing happens but when we offered this ball magnet up to the bar magnet the bar magnet did repel oh, right, yeah, so yeah. we have to say that with a manufactured magnet it would repel it would repel it would show repelling oh, right okay, so yeah. this does demonstrate but with the um steel wall because it's not i mean it's been manufactured but it hasn't been magnetized as such, has it? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. therefore, it may not be attracted to the bar, to the ball magnet in those places where the bar magnet was repelled. Yeah, yeah. Does yeah. that make yeah, sense? Yeah. So there we go. So we've got way well, down. It's hard to follow you there. I mean, when you look, you can clearly see that. Well, yeah, I'm trying to. I'm trying to pick some up on the side that was clear. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. You can see it all. You can see them all coming off from the. I mean, we had loads there. Look, so I mean, they're all. It's a good way to uh, vacuum clean. Shame we well, couldn't yeah, do yeah. this with dust. Yeah. You know, people. You know, Dyson eat your heart out. You know. Yeah. But I'm trying to get some on the uh, the underside. The underside of that magnet, because it was it was. You want to cover. Clear. You want to cover the whole magnet. Well, if 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 you had attraction on all of go, the look. magnet, all of it would be covered. But so there's there. a certain part there. That you just can, isn't covered, covered. Yeah. by the. Um, well, you can tell that. You can tell there if you pause it. Well, wait there. No. Do you want a better one. No. Oh, hold on. Do apologise. Wait there. Yeah, there. There. Look at that. There's, there's like, it's like a Mohican. There. Look at that. Yeah, there's a strip like a Mohican. There's a strip there. Yeah. Down there. Down there. That that there's no wire wool on it at all. No, no, no. Hold on. I'm talking about this strip here. Oh, this is like the, a where, Oh, sorry, right, yeah. Where there are filings. Oh, on. sorry, right. <laughs> but either side of that... Either side of that, there's, there's a bald patch. There's a bald patch, yeah. Absolutely. So that bald patch tells us that that part of the magnet doesn't attract. Right. Doesn't attract. Yeah. You know. And do you know what I reckon why this happens? Why is I that? reckon it happens simply through its manufacture. Because... Where the iron filings are along that strip, yeah, I reckon that. Oh no, you can't. I reckon 
that that's where a magnet was touching was was touching so yeah so and so the magnetic field would go around from where all the points where the magnets were touching one another yeah in the whole pile yeah it, yeah it's possible yeah it's possible that it could have been that way yeah because super magnet man explained how you can get m multiple poles on a single magnet, magnet yeah so you and know of them is, is the, way, the way they've all been put together orientated yeah basically as yeah. as the magnetic field goes through them as the, they've gone through the magnetron magnetizer of course but you can clearly see that you know there's certain parts that do not attract the metal um and it's that area that we would say um repels the bar magnet yeah, so if you if we the manufactured bar magnet yeah, so if we we related this to the earth then there would be large swathes of a spherical spinning ball earth where there wouldn't be any attraction any, uh, well magnetism wouldn't be there would magnetism wouldn't be well, there at let all. me think now yeah well if you've got if you've got a manufactured bar magnet it would repel mm. yeah of course yeah you uh, where, which direction would you compass point no i know yeah, yeah. i mean you tell me if it's going to yeah. repel you, you know which what is it going to yeah is north going to point south and south going to point north you know i mean or is your north going to point upwards or mm. you know yeah, i mean yeah. I, I don't know yeah. anyway tell me but the best part about this is this part is it oh, this well, part yeah. here is it no, no it's not it was another part. another video wasn't it was it another video yeah. oh it's another video so we we've got that let's have a look this now one. it's this part now this is a really good video which demonstrates the well there's the mohican line there, there there's the mohican there's the line basically um where a lot of this um the, the strong part the strong attraction mm. is more evident yeah, yeah, yeah in the in the ball magnet okay so it's uh might you might sing a sex pistol song oh well, yeah might do might do might it eh? but uh, the best the most interesting part of this video yeah, is cool. around is around he's trying to find the right the, there, there. we can see that the pile of um steel wool actually moves backwards, backwards yeah. towards the part of the magnet where it's most attracted to so it's least attracted yeah. to the part where you know like there it's least attracted yeah, yeah, to yeah. that and yeah. it's moving backwards yeah. now some people would say that that's a repelling force or is it an attraction force? Or is it just down to the attraction mm. that's pulling it back? Pulling it you know, sideways the, across uh, the surface. I know, yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, it's a good... I mean, that's moving straight away. That moves backwards. But, um, you know, what? I suppose it is, it's like, uh, is your glass half empty or half, half full? full? Absolutely. You know, yeah. we know that with a manufactured magnet that that area would repel. Mm. But these these um, these uh, steel wool shavings or whatever you mm. want to call them, I mean they haven't been magnetized. No, have they? Know. So it's possible that they are just being attracted to the stronger parts of, of the magnet, of the magnet mm. that are attracted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, there we go. So you know, it's all food for thought, but we still think that the Earth doesn't have poles, poles yeah. because there's not enough information out there to 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 even indicate that there are poles, poles yeah. magnetic just poles. areas of non kind of <clears throat> just areas of non-compliance non of your compass absolutely yeah. really yeah. and you think well you can't you can't use that as evidence of pole of a pole can you no and you absolutely. certainly shouldn't be using a bar magnet as an example of the uh well, magnetic well field. yeah of course yeah of course so anyway, anyway so there's that one so what next have we got main topic really so let's go with, uh, on to well we need to get back onto the thumbnail we need to get back onto the thumbnail don't we oh, go, yeah. and you thought oxygen wasn't concentrated dry air oh, yeah. well it's our opinion that that opinion is absolutely wrong, wrong. absolutely because we think <clears throat> it's our it's our opinion that oxygen is concentrated dry, dry air, air. Mm. absolutely makes sense to absolutely. me absolutely and you know we've we've we're going to introduce everyone to our new acquaintance our new <sighs> show everyone our acquisition 
Absolutely, of course. We've got um, we've got this video. We did something today which was really good, oh. and um, it's this. Yeah. So here we go now. Um, yeah, this, you'll you'll love it. It's brilliant. Yeah. Now this is something probably that not many people <sighs> would actually do. So what have we got here on the on the on the board? We've got a, a plate well, with a, a tomato, a knife. And we've also got our new acquisition. Now, this oh, is Andy. Andrew. Andy. Andy, Andy, the air concentrator. concentrator. As you can see, it's brilliant. So we've now got oxygen on tap, on tap which mm. is great. Yeah. So we've switched on Andy. Andy, so we've yeah. got the green lights going. So we've got the power on green and the oxygen on green. Absolutely. And we're coming out with one. I think one It's going up to two. Yeah. Isn't, isn't, this, isn't this amazing? And people can buy these these equipment absolutely these pieces of equipment absolutely of course people use them for hho hho gas generation gas generation they use them for um for respiratory problems as well yeah you know of course they use them for probably other things they as well. use them for oh, i don't know yeah what else would you use them for i don't really know really well people like you and me yeah absolutely of course yeah, so so we're just demonstrating to everyone that it does actually produce oxygen mm. because a lot of these machines do actually just produce um, filtered air, don't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Some of the and, portable ones and or all, smaller compact units. Yeah. And we all have to remember the classic test for oxygen. Absolutely, which is, yep, yeah, you've got it. It's relighting that glowing splint. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, of course. So we're just waiting for the machine to get kind of like revved up, you know. So there we go. So if you're lighting the um, splint, there we go. And uh, there we go. And uh, you want to cut your nails? No, 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 no. I know, yeah, they're getting bad, aren't they? So there we go. So if the, the splint's glowing. Let's blow it out. There we go. There we go. And you can clearly oh, see it's relit the glowing splint. Now, the first time, when it, it we, we saw that the the glowing splint just glows, yeah. When the when you did it the time, the, let's have yeah. a look before then. It was just before then, wasn't it? There, yeah. this time here. Yeah, it's just go as if you're. Yeah, it's it's blowing like, on it. It's like you're blowing on it. Yeah, let's watch that again. But it didn't kick in enough to to relight. Absolutely, yeah. So obviously, you've got to the machine's got to wait for it to, you know kind of get up to get mark up to. you know because mm. yeah it doesn't relight at that time so it's not instantaneous no. the oxygen no. uh, supply generation yeah. generation is not instantaneous so we've we've demonstrated as you can see that we've got oxygen okay let's watch it again so everyone's clear that the oxygen concentrator does actually mm. produce oxygen or the air concentrator does actually produce concentrated dry, dry air yeah. mm. and there, there we go. go we've relit the glowing splint okay. okay so we've got that one i think you do it again don't you you do well, it quite you gotta, a few gotta, times got to show yeah, to go. people that you know there you go look got to show to people yeah, it's relit that there we go absolutely now it's, it does actually make sense that what's coming out the end of that tube is concentrated dry, dry air yeah. mm. Because then that would understand. Everybody would be able to understand why the splint relights. Absolutely, yeah. Because you've got concentrated it's dry light. air. Yeah. It's free from water vapor. vapor, water gas. Yeah. It's free from water. So we've got two jars here. Okay. I mean, you could actually oh. argue, just as an aside, you could actually argue that's that what it's producing is latent heat. You could actually argue that. Uh, one of the one of the, the pipe the end of the pipe is going into this jar on the left hand side with concentrated dry air uh, label mm. written on, over it. Okay, and we're going to fill up that jar. You can see the end of the jar, the, the end of the pipe there in there. And what we're going to do, we're going to fill up that jar with concentrated dry air, mm. or AKA oxygen, mm. and. Here we go. We're going to cut the tomato into quarters. Mm. Yes, and you're, you know, I'm sure you can <laughs> guess what we're going to do. And that is we're going to place tomatoes in each of the jars. Absolutely, yeah. And seal them up. And seal them up and basically see how well they perform 
or they preserve in an environment of air and in an, in an environment of concentrated dry oh, air, yeah. a.k.a. oxygen. Mm. Because what we should see happen, or what we think would happen, is that we'd see more decay in the air than in the concentrated dry, dry air, air. Yeah. a.k.a. oxygen <clears throat> jar. Mm. Yeah, I reckon so. Because it's our understanding that what could happen is that the oxygen environment will inhibit moisture loss from the tomato. tomato. Mm. Because a lot of people seem to think that food um, goes off, goes stale because of oxygen in the air mm. that oxidises all of this vegetables oh, well, and yeah, yeah. asparagus, Every wasn't oh, it? Well, yeah. And all this kind of stuff. So what we're going to do, we've filled up, we've filled up obviously the jar full of oxygen to see whether the oxygen inhibits moisture loss in the tomato. And then we'll compare it with the air. Yeah. Because in air, the air should um, uh, facilitate more moisture loss from the tomato. Yeah, because... Which means you'll get decay. Yeah, and because... we're demonstrating the jar is filled with oxygen. There we go. Oh, yeah. yeah, because what, what we've witnessed b before, when we've done similar things like this, and as we've seen more moisture within... And air. There we go. We've got plenty filled. of oxygen in there. We've seen more moisture within the air, within a, a bottle filled with air, than we have with condensing on the side walls, Conden inner well, walls, and in the actual uh, yeah jar. But with an oxygen-filled jar, you see less moisture. You actually see less moisture. Now we have actually um, we've actually uh, put Vaseline around the rim, rim. of each yeah. jar just to help seal create a good seal okay so but the thing is oxygen is quite a dense gas anyway oxygen is quite a dense gas so it should remain in that jar yeah i know yeah. i mean the tomato i mean how long would the tomato last for in these jars i mean when you think about oxygen you know oxygen is just as dense as carbon dioxide it's carbon dioxide nearly yeah, absolutely yeah yeah, very yeah. heavy, and it will it'll, fall. It will fall because it's concentrated, it's, it's compacted. compacted yeah. You know, so the jar, the jar lid goes on, and so there we go. So we've put that in, and we're going to just put the uh, lid on the other jar. <sighs> there we go. There we go. It's all exciting stuff, but it would be very interesting to see the result of this mm. demonstration. Yeah, no, yeah. Wouldn't it? Because, yeah. you know, we, we, we'd be uh, quite uh, yeah. uh, intrigued as to know what will happen. Mm. So so there we go. That uh, That's it, really, isn't it? That's it, yeah. So that's, that's something for... Um, that's something that's another thing that's ongoing. But uh, it would be great to see the the outcome of that uh, that uh, that demo. Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. So, so that's our yeah. uh, uh, first demonstration... With Andy. With Andy, the dry, the dry air concentrator, a.k.a. Okay. the oxygen concentrator. Because yeah. if we go back on How can that... you have an oxygen concentrator, if you think about it logically? Because oxygen is concentrated, so you just it's oh, just well, an yeah. oxygen machine. Gee, absolutely. Well, oxygen that's concentrator. Should be, yeah. It doesn't make sense, does it? Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, of course. But if you go back on that video at the beginning we, we watched... The video at the beginning we watched. Let's have a little look. This one here. We go back to how they explained how it worked, which would be here. So there let's just play the video. There you go. The air goes into In. the uh, machine through filters. Okay, and then goes to into the sieve mm -hmm. beds. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, where the nitrogen is held and the oxygen passes through. The oxygen goes into a reservoir tank or sur purge tank or something. A surge Reser tank. Reservoir. Reservoir, and then just so that you get a nice supply, constant supply. But they don't mention what happens to the, the nitrogen. nitrogen. Well, imagine the nitrogen <laughs> yep. gets um, vented out into the atmosphere. Now, yeah, now it's our understanding that all that happens in this machine is that they go through the sieve beds. Yeah, yeah. And all it does is that it concentrates the air. Because it's they're pressurised. It's, it's compressing. There's a compressor in these 
pieces of equipment, yeah, which yeah. will compress the air. Compress the air. And with the, the sieve beds will also help not only compress the air and compact the air, concentrate the air, it will also dry the air as well. Mm. So it's like a dual function. So therefore, in our understanding of how these machines work, there should be no nitrogen vented off into the atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, and that's one of the things. When, you know, in time, we've got to show and demonstrate that that is the case. Yeah. Well, we'd hope it. to yeah. to get that. Now to get the thumbnail up. So, you know, I mean, it's, you know, I mean, it's all great stuff. But, you so know, we've, we've got uh, a lot more things to do with Andy. Andy, absolutely, of course, yeah. And if you're watching out there and you want us to... Absolutely, of course, yeah. ...do some similar anything with the uh, with andy you know if you want us to uh, i don't know apart from put uh, i don't know i'm someone's... trying to think really well, well one thing we are going to do we're going to do our calcium metal uh, little test again oh we can do our calcium metal test we're going again to do that because oxygen is supposed oh, to react we... with the calcium yeah metal. we can we can do the calcium metal with a, a small cup full of water oh, I and know. one with oxygen in a jar and calcium metal in a jar filled with oxygen oh right yeah well, that's important we could yeah. do that just to see whether one goes white and how well how long the oxygen will hold and maintain the calcium metal lustre sure. the appearance oh right so oh that's a good one that's and how long one. it will take for the water present mm. or the the jar that's filled that's got water present as well as the calcium metal how long that calcium metal will last until it goes white mm. Because we know it will go white, right, don't absolutely. we? Absolutely. Because there's water. Water decomposes. Water it. decomposes the calcium metal to become calcium hydroxide, so, which is a white powder. Absolutely. Of course, yeah, of course. Well, water, when you think about it, water decomposes. I was even reading a, a bit in I wonder if Wikipedia. water decomposes everything, when you think about it. Well, I was reading a, mm, a bit in there about oxides, because that's something you and I have to touch on, is oxides. Oxides. And there is a bit of information on Wikipedia about oxides, and it mentioned about aluminium oxide uh, as aluminium. a passivation layer. Now, in our understanding, that is completely incorrect. Co incorrect, because absolutely. it's the water that's decomposing that surface of oh. the aluminium. Yeah, but then again, you could argue that the passivation layer on aluminium isn't aluminium oxide. Because it can't be, because aluminium oxide is produced when they make on bauxite. On the Bayer process, so it's, it must so be therefore because it it's ma manufactured differently, different properties, oh, right. and they also use aluminium oxide that's made to make aluminium. They also use that as uh, as a within molecular sieve in, in sieve beds. Oh right, yeah. As your desiccant. Oh right, yeah. So they can't use the passivation layer in a sieve bed because it wouldn't work. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. This is kind of, yeah. It sounds, so, like, yeah. sounds like you, you and I really have to oh, you know, sounds have, like, have a look at oxides. Absolutely. We really do need to have a little look at oxides. Maybe we will do a video on oxides, oxides after all. Mm. Okay. Anyway, that, that wraps us up for today. I uh, hope everyone enjoyed it. If you want to leave a comment, please feel f feel free You know, leave a comment. Yep. If, you want to, uh, if you want us to do anything with Andy, uh, if you want us to test some oxygen on, I don't know, a banana... Or, yeah, um, we can do some uh, or organic anything. things. We can do yeah, some, we see can how do long some uh, food preserves, you know. We can do um, some metals as well. Some we can steel. do metals. We can do some steel, couldn't we? We could do steel, yeah. Steel, we could do yeah. wire wool. Because oxygen is supposed to react with iron. Oh, steel. iron, yeah, of course, yeah. That's what makes it rust, Yeah, yeah absolutely. It? So if we put oxygen in a jar filled with... Um, if we put oxygen in a jar with, st with steel wool in there, it oh, should right. rust. Oh, yeah, well, it should yeah, form yeah. iron oxide because yeah. you've got the oxygen reacts with the steel wire wall so you should get iron oxide oh, yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely rust yeah absolutely yeah we should do that and yeah, so, I think but so. let us know leave a comment below well, and uh but there the, you go yeah but the main point of this video is really i think just to introduce andy absolutely uh, a new on supply absolutely on supply concentrated dry, dry air. air absolutely of course yes so there you have it so until next time always remember if something doesn't make sense like um oxygen being 21 21 percent of, of, of the air yeah. and then a uh, nitrogen all this kind of yeah. stuff when you know oxygen is just concentrated just dry, dry air, air.
Yeah, of absolutely. Course. Well, it's air in its entirety, isn't it? It's air in its entirety. But it's just it's all dry. the air, but it's just dry and mm. concentrated, concentrated and free yeah. from particulates because yeah. it's been filtered. But saying that though, if the, if the calcium metal does uh, absorb all that air within that bag, yeah, yeah. leaving a vacuum, yeah, yeah. then you, I, I'm like thinking that oxygen has to be latent heat. Oxygen has to be latent heat. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah, of course. Who knows? More, yeah, more food for thought. Move, more food for thought, but there's an awful lot of nonsense, isn't there? Of right. course. Okay. So until next time, we'll see. You. See you next, next time. time. Okay. Bye. Ta da. The Earth isn't round. It's flat. How do you know? I've observed it in all my travels over Europe. It's flat everywhere. It's flat.